Good afternoon, ma'am, classmates, and viewers. I'm Zairami M. Marcelo. Our topic for today is all about learners from indigenous groups. So, here is the introduction of our topic. Indigenous students make meaning of what they learn through spirituality. Spirituality in learning involves students making connection between morals, values, and intellect rather than simply acquiring knowledge. Knowledge to indigenous people is personal and involves emotions, cultures, traditional skills, nature, and etc. For this reason, indigenous students need time to make connection in class and often benefit from a safe and respectful environment that encourage discussion among students. So, sinasabi lamang po dito na ang indigenous student ay natututo o nade-develop ang kanilang aspeto sa pag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng kabanalan at sila ay nangangailangan ng sapat na oras at pag-unawa ng mga tao sa paligid dahil sa kawalan ng respeto ng ibang tao ngayon. Mahalaga na maibahagi natin ang ating kaalaman maging sa kanila. Nang sa ganoon, eh hindi lang tayo ang nakikinabang, higit ang ating mga ninuno kung saan man tayo nagmula. So what is indigenous learning? Indigenous learning is the study of indigenous history, culture, and values and strive to increase awareness, appreciation of the, in, of the life experience of indigenous peoples with a view to creating an environment of understanding and trust among all peoples. Ang indigenous learning po ay ang pag-aaral na kung saan tumutukoy sa kasaysayan ng katutubong kultura at pagpapahalaga at nagsusumikap upang madagdagan ang ating kamalayan at pagpapahalaga sa karanasan sa buhay ng mga katutubong tao sa layuning lumikha ng isang kapaligiran ng pag-unawa at pagtitiwala sa lahat ng mga tao. Ito ay lubang mahalaga sa atin dahil ito ay parte ng ating pagkatao at upang hindi mabura ang mga alaala na iniwan ng ating mga katutubo. And what is the role of indigenous knowledge? Indigenous knowledge plays a role in conserving the nature, food production, forestry development, medicine, sustainable practices, land, and resource management, and ecotourism, climate change, and disaster risk reduction. There are several, several challenges for preserving and promoting indigenous knowledge system. Also, rebuild. Malaki, malaki po ang ginagampan ng papel ng ating mga katutubo at sila ay marami nang nagawa at napatunayan lalo na para sa ating kalikasan. Alam naman natin na ang pangunahing hanap buhay nila ay ang pagkakainin, pagkakainin at pagtatanim. Ito ay nagsisilbi nilang pagkain o di kaya ay binibenta, binibenta nila ang kanilang mga naaani upang sila ay may pantusto sa kanilang pangangailangan. Ito ay nakakatulong sa atin lalo na sa ating kalikasan, lalo na ang pagpapanatili ng ganitong tradisyon. Dahil bukod sa nakakatulong ka na, nakinabang ka pa. We have 14 million estimated indigenous people in the Philippines. Among the prominents are Ipugaw, Buntok, Kankay, Ibaloy, Kalmaga, Tingyun, Isnag, Gadang, Bukalot, and Negritos. At first, we have Ipugaw tribes, a group of wet rice agriculturalists occupying the mountains area of northern Luzon in the Philippines. The Ipugao rice terraces symbolize harmony between man and nature. Sacred traditions such as the rituals in time for harvest and cultural practices have been passed on from one generation to another. They also establish a system to water. 
These plots by harvesting water from mountain top forests. The second types of indigenous people that I'm going to discuss is all about Buntok, a large collection of tribal palm huts along the Chico River between the Ipogao and Kalinga regions. Buntok men had to earn their tattoos by killing enemies in intertribal conflicts, while Buntok women were a very distinctive snake skeleton hairpiece which they found very cool. While the Kankai tribe are from northern Philippines, they are part of the collective group of indigenous people known as the Igorot people. The Igorots include a number of ethno-linguistic groups, the Bantok, Kankai, they speak Kankai and Ilocano. While the Kankai tribe are from northern Philippines, they are part of the collective group of indigenous people also known as the Igorot people. The Igorots include a number of ethno-linguistic groups. They speak Kankai and Ilocano. They are one of the larger tribes the region that live in Binget province. The Kankai built sloping in the rugged terrain of the Cordilleras. They are very shy type of person and selfish, but conservative in their costumes, traditions, and methods. Ibaloy, also called as Ipaway by the Kalangoyas, the name is derived from those who live in the grasslands. And we also, Ibaloy, also called as Ipaway by the Kalangoyas, the name is derived from who live in the grasslands. And we also found them in Binget province. They believe in supreme beings and spirits that guide their ways of living as well as their future. And they believe that man shares the universe with a variety of gods, spirits, demons, and ghosts. Kalinga is a both tribal community and a lack province in the heart, heart of Cordillera region in southern Luzon, Philippines. Kalinga people live modest but passionate, lives in a world where your skin communicated your social tattoos to the local community. Kalinga tattoos are inspired by the objects seen in daily life such as rice terraces, ladders, and centipedes. The design on women display their social tattoos such as in Lasso's case being the eldest daughter but generally speaking. While the Tinguin, they live in the western cordillera of Luzon. Head hunting played a central role in the indigenous. They believe in nature spirits, nature god, ancestral spirit, and to god. The Tinguin have been divided into a valley and mountain group. For, as already indicated, there has been a considerable of the mixed Kalinga Igorot people of the upper Saltan or Malokbot River. Their eyes are dark brown while their hair is often black. While Isnag tribe, they are commonly known as Isnegs, which care from an Ilocano word, Itneg meaning inhabitants of the living river. They are considered as one of the most light-hearted among the indigenous tribes in the Philippines. They have no words thank you from their dialect. An Isnag woman must allow their legs to spread when squatting to a sitting position nor allow their tapis to go above her knees. While the men are batting and screaming together, they keep their private part covered with one hand while they are out of the water. Now, what is Gadang? Gadang is an ethnic group sharing centuries of residence in the watershed of the Cagayan River in Northern Luzon. They are unique among Northern Luzon communities for being so lavish with its use of bedworks that is elevated to an art. Most severenumal garments are bedded seam in the front of plums of maize, citrus, as well as male kerchiefs, shirts, display, and turquoise bedwork. And we have Bongkalot indigenous people tend to inhabit areas close to rivers as they provide a food source and means of transformation. They also speak the Ilocano. They have been laid their ancestral domain in vast forests and mountain of Nueva Vizcaya, especially in upland towns. They embrace the Christian belief. At the present spew, Bungkalots are now scattered in the upland town in Nueva Vizcaya Carino and Aurora province. This is the last type's indigenous people, which is Negritos. 
Negritos also known as Agta, Aita, Ati, Ata, and Balak. With a hunter-gathered background in the Philippines, they have traditional religion which is animism. Most of them main animists, although same of their beliefs have, have been modified by Roman Catholic or Christianity. They live as hunter-gathered, while some also use agriculture. Today, most Negrito tribe are assimilated to the majority population of their homeland. Discrimination and poverty are often problem. What is indigenous people? Indigenous people are inheritors and practitioners of unique cultures and ways of relating to people in the environment. They have retained social, cultural, economic, and political characteristics that are distinct from those of the dominant societies in which they live. They are also referred to as First People, Aboriginal People, and Native People. Also, they are holders of unique language, knowledge, system, and beliefs possessed in valuable knowledge of practice, the sustainable management of natural resources. They have special relation and use of their traditional land. They share collective ancestral ties to the lands and natural resources where they live. There is no universally accepted definition for indigenous, though there are characteristics that tend to be common among indigenous peoples. Number one, indigenous people are distinct populations relative to the dominant post-colonial culture of their country. They are often minority population within the current post-colonial nation states. In Bolivia and Guatemala, indigenous people make up more than half the population. Number two, Indigenous peoples usually have or had their own language, cultures, and traditions influenced by living relationships with their ancestral homelands. Today, indigenous peoples speak some 4,000 languages. Third, indigenous people have distinctive cultural traditions that are still practiced. Fourth, indigenous people have or had their own land and territory to which they are tried in myriad ways. And last, Indigenous people self-identify as indigenous. The common characteristics of indigenous peoples in the Philippines is their close attachment to ancestral land, territory, and resources. The worldview that land is life is deeply embedded in their existence. For indigenous people, land is the territorial base as the living space para sa community and sa sources of food and other needs nila and it's directly related sa culture and environment na meron sila. The land for IPs is material basis para sa kanilang identity and how they are survived. Land is viewed as a collective legacy na kailangan ma-maintain across many generations dahil ito yung source of life and livelihood for IPs. And also, the ancestral domain to the indigenous people is a holistic concept encompassing not only the land but including its resources, the rivers, the forests, the minerals underneath, and the air above. Also, it's not a commodity to be sold or exchanged but a resource to, to be nurtured for the future generations. And for IPs, land is life. Teaching Strategies First, tribal teachers begin teaching by building on the commonplace. We have common experiences, understandings, and human traits that can be used to pose a problem in terms, forms, or experiences that are familiar to students. Second, Create a learning environment that flows with this natural current of humanness. We have to always remember that learning is a natural instinct and that success in learning something new is tied to human feelings of self-worth. Enabling successful learning is an essential step in cultivating motivation and enhancing self-confidence in learning. Third, Basic understanding begins with exploring how things happen. 
observing how things happen in the natural world is the basis of some of the most ancient and spiritually profound teachings of indigenous cultures. Nature is the first teacher and model of process. Learning how to see nature enhances our capacity to see other things. Fourth, focus on teaching the perennial phenomena such as solar and lunar cycles. It stimulates the deepest level of learning how to learn and the development of self-knowledge. Fifth, focuses as much on learning with the heart as on learning with the mind. They have to understand that learning is not always through formal classroom setting, but also from human experiences by means of social interactions. Six, facilitates learning how to see how one really is rather than an image manufactured through one's or other's egos. This real perception of self helps the student realize that they are essentially responsible for the barriers to their own learning. Prevalence There are approximately 476 million indigenous people worldwide in over 90 countries. Although they make up over 6% of the global population, they account for about 15% of the extreme poor. 11,300,000 is the total population of indigenous people in the Philippines. There are 20 million estimated indigenous people in the Philippines, consisting of around 110 ethnic groups. They are one of the most vulnerable sectors of the Philippine society, suffering from abject poverty, malnutrition, exploitation, conflict and violence, discrimination, alienation of their natural resources and human rights violations, and severe lack of access to basic services. A vast majority of the 12 million population of the indigenous people in the Philippines reside in the uplands which they claim as part of their traditional territories. Most of the remaining natural resources in the country are found within the traditional lands of the indigenous people. This only means that they are indeed vulnerable because they are not well educated and has no access in almost everything. They are not well represented by the government as well because of their race, capabilities, and lack of knowledge. Traditional knowledge, dito makikita ang tradisyon ng kaalaman ng isang indigenous people. Unique knowledge of the world, dito naman pumapasok ang kakaibang kaalaman ng isang tao gaya ng mga tradisyon or kasabihan ng mga indigenous people. Know-how and skills and innovation and practices.